Ethereum isn't broken yet. But if you've seen people whispering about restaking and eigenlayer, you might be wondering, is this the next big unlock or the next big risk? Hold on, friend. Let's break it down. Hi, friends. I'm Seed, your blockchain buddy. This channel explains Web3 without the buzzwords, so you can stay sharp in a noisy market. And today's topic? Restaking. The shiny new trick that could either make Ethereum unstoppable or dangerously fragile. Here's the simple version. Normally, you stake ETH to secure the Ethereum network. Restaking lets you reuse that staked ETH to secure other protocols through Eigenlayer. Think of it like this. You use your house as collateral, and at the same time, you rent it out on Airbnb. Double income, double risk. So what's the upside? Extra yield for stakers. New projects get security without building from scratch. And Ethereum becomes more modular, like Lego blocks for security. On paper, it sounds like a win, but there's a dark side. If one of those new protocols fails, your ETH can get slashed. More leverage means more systemic risk, like the 2008 housing crash, but on-chain. And if too much restaking power lands in a few pools, Ethereum's decentralization could crack. So, is restaking the holy grail or a ticking time bomb? Honestly, it depends. If done carefully, it can supercharge Ethereum's growth. If abused, it can spread risk across the whole network. Here's my advice. Before you ape into restaking, ask yourself, do I know what my ETH is actually securing? Who's running the validators? Is that extra yield worth the risk of losing my stake? Because in crypto, yield never comes free. So next time someone shills you Eigenlayer APY, remember, you're not just earning, you're underwriting risk. This is Seed. Stay grounded. Stay curious.